Good morning, afternoon, and evening to all of you who have joined us. I want to welcome all of you to our webinar today on how Phoenix NAP streamlines data protection with Veeam and Cloudian. Joining us today are Sam Fawaz, Cloud Solutions Architect at Veeam, Amit Rowalani, Director of Tech Alliance at Cloudian, and William Bell, EVP of Product at Phoenix NAP. And with that, let's get started. I'll let Sam take it from here. Sam? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, my name is Sam Fawaz, I, and I'm a solutions architect with uh, Veeam Software. And today I'll be speaking to you about our latest and greatest Veeam Availability Suite 9.5 Update 4. So uh, some of you may be familiar with uh, our strategy as a, as a company, uh, we might have speaking, spoken about this in the past. Uh, we've got five stages of intelligent data management, but it all starts with backup. We've moved over from a policy-based solution to a behavior-based solution uh, using five stages. Uh, first stage was uh, simply backup and replication. Uh, stage two was aggregation. That's when we started to uh, work with agents, and the concept behind this is that we can basically grab data from anywhere and move it to anywhere, a multi-cloud solution strategy. Stage three was visibility. We've got Veeam 1 there and Veeam Availability Console to help us be preventative in determining and finding issues. Stage four gave us orchestration. We released a product called Veeam Orchestrator that allows you to orchestrate failovers and, and failbacks uh, with our replication technology, and we're constantly improving uh, automation in stage five and developing API sets for more and more integration. We have what's called a Veeam Hyper Availability Platform, uh, which, was, which is built on universal API sets, starting with backup and replication, uh, and, sorry, and recovery as well as replication and failover. And with that came what we call data labs, which I'll be speaking uh, more about uh, in this webcast. Uh, it used to be called virtual labs. We've got visibility and monitoring. The concept behind it is we're a multi-cloud solution, uh, whether it be public cloud, private cloud, software as a service, supporting physical workloads, uh, and moving toward more orchestration, as well as more intelligence. And with that, uh, where we are now is we, since last year, we've gained agent management capabilities. That was something um, that we fulfilled in previous updates, uh, universal storage API. And what that basically means is that we put out a storage API set to so that storage vendors would have the capability of integrating the, uh, themselves into our platform. We as Veeam still uh, perform the quality assurance, the quality control to make sure it's up to our standards, but uh, more and more storage integration is happening today with our product set. With the latest and greatest uh, update four, uh, we released a cloud tier for object storage, which I'll be speaking heavily about momentarily. And what's to come, targeting for version 10 later this year, uh, is uh, NAS storage protection support, being able to protect SIPs and NFS, as well as providing continuous data protection, basically getting that replication down to the seconds. So today we boast a 15 minute or less replication technology, but in the future we'll be able to get down to, uh, down to the seconds RPO. So with that, I'll focus on update four, and we'll talk about Veeam Cloud Tier. So the Veeam Cloud Tier feature is a sub-feature of scale-out backup repositories. And for those who aren't familiar with scale-out backup repositories, which we call SOBER for short, um, that's an ability to add an abstract layer above your repository so that as you reach capacity on your repository, you can simply add a volume, a LUN, or a, a whole other array as an extent to the scale-out backup repository so that you can extend, uh, expand on capacity. Uh, 
Uh, and what that does is your backup jobs, your backup copy jobs can point at a scale-up scale backup repository, and we will automatically, under the hood, transfer data to new capacity uh, as needed. The tiering capability came in under that umbrella to where now you can set up policies based on age as well as a capacity threshold. Uh, and with that, the ability to support object storage came into play, uh, S3 compatible. Uh, we've been working heavily with Phoenix Snap as well as Cloudian to provide a joint solution so that object storage, uh, uh, S3 compliant object storage is uh, provided by us together uh, and as part of the platform. The way that it works, is essentially as we meet these thresholds, uh, either age or capacity thresholds, we will automatically start tearing off the payload data into an S3 bucket. And what is essentially happens is we dehydrate the VBK. So you end up with a dehydrated VBK on the block disk, and we keep the metadata information on that disk. The dehydrated VBK uh, contains the information needed to point to the S3 bucket payload data. And that also makes recover, recoverability possible uh, as well. So that dehydrated VBK is also called a shell VBK. And essentially, we will reduce the amount of data that actually lives on block storage, tearing it off, moving it into object storage so that you can decrease uh, cost of storage. We introduced a new feature uh, called Staged and Secure Restores, and it's part of our Data Labs feature, which used to be called Virtual Labs. And what a Staged Restore allows you to do is exactly what it says. It allows you to recover to a staged environment first before completing that recovery into production. And the value of that is uh, being able to be, remove sensitive information before moving it to production. So for example, Mr. John Smith is interested in buying a house and registers all his information with a construction company, which is stored in a database. The construction company is backing up that information and all of a sudden something crashes they lose their information, and they're forced to perform a recovery. Well, what they're able to do if, if, uh, you know, if they want to remove Mr. John Smith's information, they're able to restore that virtual machine, that database, into a staged environment, inject a script to scrape that data away uh, before finalizing that recovery. And what this allows them to do is comply with GPDR which is basically the right to be forgotten. So a stage restore approach is now available in Update 4, and you can be particular about what information you put back into production to adhere to compliancy. The secure restore follows the same methodology uh, in that you can make sure that what you're recovering uh, is clean. So essentially, it is very possible to back up data or back up VMs that, are, that contain a virus or some kind of ransomware, and you may not know it. And when, when it comes time to recover it, it is very possible that you could also be recovering that virus or that ransomware that could have been dormant all this time. What we're able to do now is use that staged restore approach and invoke a antivirus scan or a security scan of some sort to determine whether the machine that we're recovering is clean. And this will ensure that you're not putting back what caused the issue in the first place. The way that it works is you select a restore point, which gets mounted, and an antivirus scan is executed and if no issues are found, we can continue with that restore process. 
However, if an issue is found, then you have two options. One is to continue to restore without connectivity to the network, and this gives you the ability to uh, basically work on it and make sure that you can remove the infection. Or you can decide to abort the restore process. But at least you would be able to catch the issue before putting it back into production. With our latest update, we also have more intelligent diagnostics. And this is an improvement on our Veeam 1 product. And it's not a dial-home feature. Uh, what it actually does is mine Veeam backup and replication debug logs and compare them to signatures that is provided by our support. Think of it like uh, an ant antivirus solution. When a new virus is found on the market, antivirus companies will work to determine what those are and to create definitions so that their AV engines can learn about those viruses and clean them. This is essentially the same thing. Our support team will create these signatures that can be downloaded into the Veeam 1 product so that the Veeam 1 product can learn and understand and look for patterns to detect issues before they occur. So it allows you to be more proactive uh, than ever before, and there's some learning capability there. Other update port capabilities that were recently released is Oracle RMAN support, SAP HANA support, uh, role-based access for vSphere environments that has improved. We have more integration with the uh, uh, VMware uh, Cloud Director, uh, as well as more reporting in Veeam 1. One of the things um, I didn't mention back when we were speaking about object storage was Many of you may be aware that there is a grandfather, father, son retention policies that you can set up with backup copy jobs. And these backup copy jobs can target uh, a scale out backup repository with the tiering enabled so that older fools or aged fools can be tiered off. So that was something I just wanted to make sure to mention um, at the very end here. But this is, in a nutshell, what we've released in update four. And we've continued to work with Cloudy and Phoenix Snap, who are uh, very big partners of ours that we work with constantly to provide these services uh, together. Great. Thanks, Sam. Um, I'll take it from here. Um, hi, folks. Uh, this is Amit Ralani, uh, Director of Technology Alliances at Cloudian. Um, Cloudian, as uh, some of you might be aware, is, uh, is an object storage company. And uh, we are based on uh, on an object storage platform that uh, has been un in development since 2011, and it is based purely on the Amazon S3 protocol, which uh, the, which has been the de facto standard for object storages in the cloud. Um, when companies are looking to implement um, object storage systems that can work on premises and or tier uh, across uh, cloud to implement a hybrid cloud solution. Uh, Cloudian is uh, is one of the best fits as we are the most compatible object storage platform to AWS S3 uh, standards. We are a well-funded startup. Uh, we have uh, more than $174 million in venture funding and some of our investors are top tier venture capitalists uh, and uh, institutional investors as we've listed uh, below. This is just a sampling. We have a lot more investors who are actively uh, following and supporting um, Cloudian's uh, track ahead. We are well established and have more than 300 uh, customers uh, that are uh, that have Cloudian in production, and we partner with some of the biggest names in the in the storage and networking industry, uh, spread across Lenovo, Cisco, Hewlett Packard, and so on and so forth. We partner very closely with uh, with Veeam, uh, and we have some of our major customers and use cases around uh, Veeam and the data protection use case. 
and we will be talking a little more about the specific uh, changes that enable us to work more closely uh, with the latest update 4. Phoenix Snap is, uh, is a customer of Cloudian and uh, we will also be talking at the end uh, through William on how the implementation of uh, the Cloudian plus Veeam solution is helping customers over there. So at its core, Cloudian is built around uh, our core platform, which is known as Hyperstore. Now, this is an on-premises S3 compatible object storage platform, which is infinitely scalable. We allow our customers to start small. So we, uh, we have customers that uh, are able to start as low as three nodes and scale all the way up to hundreds of petabytes. Currently, we have more than uh, 100 petabyte uh, production customer use case deployment. And theoretically, we've uh, tested, uh, sorry, theoretically, we are able to scale into exabytes, and we've tested uh, uh, in multi-hundreds of petabytes uh, scale in labs. We are an ideal solution for hybrid cloud, something that I mentioned uh, up front. Uh, this is because we are uh, the most compatible S3 implementation out there. So the applications that are developed on Cloudian can run on-premises on Cloudian or can be easily uh, tiered to work across data that's uh, stored in AWS S3 and so on. We are also compatible with other cloud vendors and I'll, I'll touch on that in a little bit. The use cases uh, we've uh, implemented uh, with our customers uh, range from multiple industries uh, across media and entertainment, uh, Internet of Things, surveillance, big data, and so on and so forth. The key features uh, that uh, Cloudian offers, again, S3 is, I, I'll beat this uh, to the death because uh, S3 is one of our key uh, competitive advantage in the market. Uh, uh, there are other object storage vendors in the market, but uh, none of them have been built uh, on the S3 as a core of their uh, product. The other vendors uh, usually use an S3 gateway or an S3 interface, which requires some kind of level of translation to happen and uh, degrades performance and Im impacts some scalability. We, on the other hand, are built on S3 and we can scale and perform uh, at a much higher level. We, we have policy-based uh, data retentions uh, inherent into the product, uh, policy-based tiering, and uh, we are very, very uh, uh, friendly to MSP customers and have, uh, um, we have features uh, specifically implemented for MSP customers, uh, which range from multi-tenancy, QoS, and billing. Multiple deployment options uh, where we have our own appliances uh, and we also have software defined storage as an option. Next slide. So why, why do customers look at Cloudian as their uh, object storage platform of choice? So I've just listed a few of the highlights here. Uh, so exabyte scalability is definitely one of uh, our key selling points. Hyperstore is built on a peer-to-peer -peer cloud storage architecture. Uh, S3 is the core of this, of course, and we are able to score, uh, scale to thousands of nodes and billions of objects and buckets. As the demand grows and the capacity uh, increases required, uh, customers can add uh, servers uh, on a on a granular basis, and uh, the 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 cluster does not have to be a uniform cluster. So you can have m a, a mix of different type of uh, hardware devices, and we can we can run on the whole thing and create a, a a hugely scalable cluster. This gives our customers great flexibility to grow, starting all the way from hundreds of terabytes to petabytes and exabytes of scale with no downtime. The next uh, feature that I highlight is, uh, is the integrated data protection. Now, Cloudian provides policies that uh, um, that enable administrators to select uh, different type of uh, data protection scheme. Uh, so these range from replications and or erasure coding. With replication, uh, customers can have a configurable number of uh, copies of data maintained across the cluster, and each of these copies is stored on a different node. 
So in case of a node failure, you can easily uh, recover the data um, from a different node. Um, with erasure coding, each object is encoded uh, and uh, we also have data fragments that are stored with these uh, objects uh, and data can be recovered from any of these fragments uh, which are also stored on different nodes. Again, this is one of the most efficient ways of um, data storage usage uh, while getting a high amount of uh, data protection. Uh, with the, the data protection schemes that we offer, we have uh, as much as 14 nines of uh, data uh, reliability that uh, comes in with uh, Cloudian. On the geo distribution side, we support multi-site deployments. Uh, we can span across multiple data centers, locations, and even regions. Uh, each of these uh, distributed uh, deployments can implement erasure coding, replication, and or a mix of each of these across different sites. So we do not have uh, a limitation of a, 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 a site-wide uh, data protection policy. You can go as granular as, uh, as a bucket level on that. And of course, none of this comes with uh, any extra hardware, software to buy or manage. And then finally, we are hybrid and multi-cloud enabled. Um, I, I touched on the hybrid cloud capabilities. Uh, on the multi-cloud uh, capabilities, we do support uh, uh, AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud uh, inherently. And uh, we also support other uh, S3-enabled uh, uh, cold storage targets such as uh, S3-enabled tapes and or uh, other uh, storage medium. In a nutshell, modular scalability, you can start small and grow, uh, a global single namespace uh, to scale across uh, various sites, and uh, metadata uh, search and analytics, something that we did not uh, touch on, but we do uh, have the capability of uh, um, being able to search and analyze the data stored across the cluster in uh, Cloudian with uh, the, the core metadata that gets stored across uh, each object. Common use cases, uh, the, the backup and data protection is our key use case. Uh, we partner very closely with Veeam on that. Ransomware protection is, is a use case that our customers are using us for. Uh, this comes with the capability that uh, we introduced uh, last year, which is uh, Worm, uh, write once and read many times. This locks in the data and uh, uh, renders it uh, ineffective for, uh, for hackers to, to, to kind of uh, put a ransomware uh, threat on. Um, hybrid and multi-cloud uh, DR is another use case that is very popular with, uh, with our customers, and I've listed that over here as well. So what does the, the solution of uh, Cloudian and Veeam look like, right? So with update four, uh, Veeam introduced its cloud tier, which allows the hyperstore to be seamlessly seen as the capacity tier behind the primary backup. Um, this extends the capability of customers to, to store large amounts of backup data and gives, uh, gives them exabyte scalability at very, very low cost within their own data center. Veeam software provides the policy-based uh, backup and uh, recovery uh, actions. Uh, the data can be, uh, key, can be stored on, uh, can land on the primary backup and uh, be moved seamlessly on to uh, the hyperstore, something that uh, Sam already showed you guys. Uh, the other thing that uh, we should point out here is that the rehydration of data from hyperstore can happen uh, in stages uh, where the data is rehydrated back onto the primary um, uh, backup uh, for immediate access, or you can directly uh, restore images directly from uh, hyperstore and uh, start working on uh, those images directly from there. The implementations can be within the same data center. Uh, or they can be across uh, data centers uh, in remote locations. 
So in, in many ways, uh, the hyperstore complements and completes the, the backup uh, and uh, data protection solution with Veeam in a very, very cost-effective manner. We are uh, very uh, competitive with, uh, with costs uh, on uh, per gigabyte, uh, even with uh, Amazon, and uh, provide a very high performance and highly durable uh, archive layer. Solution highlights with the, the update 4 and the cloud tier, we are now a plug and play uh, backup capacity tier for Veeam. Uh, we provide up to 70% of cost savings to traditional uh, storage mechanisms on the capacity layer. With us being within the data center, the recovery speeds are much higher. This leads to much lower RPO, RTO metrics for customers, and this has been a big selling point for the solution. Multi-tenancy and metering, uh, billing and QoS, this is, these are sp features specifically uh, very uh, high in demand from our MSP customers and uh, rendered the solution of Veeam with, uh, uh, with Cloudian uh, very well. Hybrid and multi-cloud ready is another feature that uh, is, is, is a highlight of our solution. And uh, we've been proven in many, many Veeam deployments already. So we have uh, a dozen, dozens of customers uh, that are joined uh, with Veeam and uh, have had uh, good success uh, with this solution. With that, I'm going to pass the ball over to William, who can talk about uh, the implementation uh, of Cloudian and Veeam at Phoenix now. Thank you very much, Amit. Um, for those of you who don't know who uh, Phoenix Nap is, we're an infrastructure as a service business uh, based out of Phoenix, Arizona and Amsterdam, the Netherlands, uh, a little over 500 employees and growing worldwide. We've been really focusing on global growth, really trying to be that one throat to choke for businesses around the globe. And we've got some great solutions that pair uh, both with Cloudian's object storage systems and uh, Veeam's backup and recovery services. Uh, we're a platinum Veeam Cloud VCSP um, and one of the largest in the world. So we're working with this, these technologies, both of them, every single day. And so when you look at each technology individually, they're great on-premises solutions, right? You should definitely consider each of them for their own merits, right? For, for object storage, for backup and recovery solutions. But what we're doing with them is kind of multifaceted, right? We're working to deliver these products as a service to customers in a completely OPEX fashion. So you're not having to go out and buy a license or buy storage. Um, but we're delivering it as a cloud-based service, right? So we're working with our customers to do cloud DR, offsite backup, um, and we're providing these solutions in the cloud so that you can leverage them uh, as your primary infrastructure or the, so you can leverage them as DR infrastructure. So I'm going to kind of talk through that uh, a little bit in depth. We do a ton of other things. Uh, so, you know, not really uh, pertinent to this call, but um, we've got the presentation, I think, in the attachments area. So we'll go and we'll, uh, you can go ahead and check that out. Um, so our Phoenix App object storage service is powered by Cloudian. Um, we offer it natively just like Amazon S3. And we have really simplified pay-as-you-go pricing. So some of the complexities around Amazon's S3 product um, revolve around all of the different ways and metrics that they can charge you for using that service. And so we've really boiled it down heavily to how much storage are you taking up and, um, and how much outbound transfer are you using. No request fees. And I'll talk a little bit about why that's important with some of these new advancements from Veeam. So we've really built it to be a very optimized uh, destination for Veeam Cloud tier. So if you're looking at, if you're already a Veeam customer and you're just looking to do archive and you're considering S3 or Azure Blob, um, we're a very, very cost competitive and better performing solution uh, for that workload. So if you've got sober extents and you're, you're leveraging that technology, we're a great place. Another way is if you're, not, if you're a Cloudian customer and you're looking at ways to protect your data in the cloud, um, we are a great destination for Cloudian's native data tiering uh, capabilities. 
as well as being able to manage and, and uh, allow you to stay in control of your encryption at rest in the cloud. Um, I kind of mentioned some of these things, you know, really working on optimizing our solution for Veeam's technology. Um, and we're also heavily focused on security and compliance. You can go to our website, you can look at kind of all of uh, the ways we're helping customers stay secure in a, in a kind of a cloud forward world. Um, and we're wrapping compliance around each and everything we can. So we're working through every one of our products, making sure that we're getting them to kind of the, the best position we can around uh, compliance in the cloud. And so, and, and all of this being delivered, very aggressive pricing models to really help customers uh, lower that total cost of ownership. That's really uh, what we're focused on every single day. Better performance, lower total cost of ownership. I'm not ready to be done yet, Mr. Slide. Uh, so how do we wrap all this together, right? How do we make sure that customers, um, you know, get the right solution from both, uh, both companies? And so if you're a Veeam backup customer, um, or if you're not and you're considering Veeam, right, we have options for you to be able to leverage licensing or leverage uh, features inside of Veeam solution to natively back up your data to the cloud, right? So you can actually uh, point and click without doing any cloud tier, using Sober, anything. You can take backup copy jobs and point them directly at our Cloud Connect backup service. And we're working with Cloudian and Veeam to really optimize that from a performance perspective, but also from a cost perspective. So leveraging uh, cloud tier on our end we're able to archive some of that data to really lower the total cost of ownership of the Cloud Connect product, right? So if you go out to the market and you look right now, you know, it, the pricing ranges greatly if you're looking at the Cloud Connect backup service from Veeam. But we really, really are focusing on trying to bring that cost down to, uh, to customers. Um, and, you know, we're leveraging Cloudian to do that and to help make that better um, every single day. Great. Thank you very much for that, William. And we hope to see you guys again soon.